This video was brought to you by the Asbestos Sniffing Club! Yay! Right then, it's Random Lift Tour's adventure in Frankfurt in Germany and it's Random Lift Tour time! Right then, it's 4 o'clock in the morning and the streets are deserted and along I go to my favourite, Stansted Airport, the place that makes you feel like a cow in a slaughterhouse. So then I park them outside Stansted and walk in because there's no way I'm paying for the stupid parking charges and there's loads of no pedestrian signs because they do not like people walking in. There's actually no official route to walk into this airport. So then through security I go and along to their horrible labyrinth of shops which goes on forever and it's got loads of stupid signs. Duty free, look how cheap it is. It's not the slightest bit cheap, it's all overpriced shit. And I've got empty water bottles because I'm asserting my human rights. They cannot legally deprive me of water. They have to fill up these water bottles. But they do not tell you this because if you don't know your rights, you'll go and buy a stupid overpriced water, which is what they want. So then I go on the plane and I law go to Germany. and arrive at Frankfurt Hahn Airport which is a very long way from Frankfurt. I've got no idea why they call it Frankfurt Hahn because it's so far from Frankfurt. It's stupid. And look, I'll do the first lift which is a nice fourth generation eco disc. <laughs> Right then, I'll get the bus into Frankfurt, and the bus actually costs more than the plane. So then, in Frankfurt, I meet up with Nico, Trizzo, Elias, and Chris. And along we go to the first lift in Frankfurt, which is a glass net lift. Oh my goodness. Then lower go to a next lift, which is the last net lift that goes 1.6 meters a second. And then we go to our really nice shopping centre and this has some really awesome glass net lifts that goes 1.6 meters a second with intelligent levelling and pre-doors. These lifts are really awesome. Drittes Obergeschoss. 
We are International Lift Equipment. You can reprogram our lifts so they say rude things. Also, you can reprogram our lifts so they make smiley faces. Yay! So when choosing your lift voice and indicator, make sure you choose International Lift Equipment. And I love it, into a technology shop. What's really weird about this shop is when you go in and they see you've got a camera, they actually write down you have a camera. So when you leave the shop, you can actually prove you haven't stolen a camera, which is really weird. And this shop has another really nice gloss net lift with intelligent leveling and pre-doors. And it is all bugger shots. And along we go to a car park. And this is a car park in disguise, because if you look at it, it doesn't really look like a car park. It looks like an office building, but it's actually a car park. And this car park has an Otis Gen 2. Let's surf it. <laughs> And this is where it all went wrong. Yeah, when I got off the top of this lift and I had to reset it in the cabinet because this lift had shaft door protection, I got spotted by some people. And in Germany, people are really strict. It just so happened that people noticed I was in the cabinet were actually Otis lift engineers. Oh dear, that is not good. And they gave chase, ran out the car park, thought we'd lost them and they suddenly caught up with us and they got quite aggressive and grabbed hold of me. But luckily the others managed to persuade them and we just found a cabinet open and we were just shutting it for them and we managed to persuade them to leave us alone. So then Louis go to the next lift which is another glass generic lift. Lift, which is this rather weird Otis lift. And I love to go to a really nice cone M series. And along we go to the next lift, which is an 80s Otis. And along we go to the next lift, which is a generic. And I love we go to the next lift, which is really grotty and has graffiti all over it. See, there's three pages. Three pages. Street, and that's the name of the bridge. And I love I go to Main, and I love to my hotel. And the lift in the hotel is, well, it doesn't have a lift. How disappointing. Sorry. 
So then it's now the next day and I go for a walk around the streets near the hotel and this pylon's really weird. It's got two different voltages which you can tell by the size of the insulators. I've never seen a pylon quite like this before. So then along go to the trams, cross the road on the Red Man which is illegal in Germany and I'll get on the tram along into Mainz. And now we go for a really nice fast 3 meter second cone lift up some towers in the centre of Mainz. And along we go to some nice swing door lifts, but sadly, they've got inner doors. No! So then open it up, and here is the shop. But Evans left the lights as one against high rise lift services. We will replace all lifts with generics. Oh, really? And along we go to a generic lift which has intelligent levelling and pre doors, which is really nice to see. And along we go to a 90s fitting with the green fist and French buttons. And along we go to another genetic shape for lift. But Evans lift our lights will <laughs> And now we go to another one of these really weird cottages. No, this is this just designed about it. It's quite odd. It's got an up down button, which I don't really get what it does. Is it like the go button on inspection or something? That's just so weird. And along we go into a shop and along to this really nice old lift which looks really awesome. Sadly on the inside it's had its buttons replaced. But a motor still sounds really good. And along we go to the car park lift, which is a really nice 1960s lift. Sadly on the inside it's had its buttons replaced, but again it still sounds really good. Oh 
and now to the next lift, which is a grotty goods lift, which I'm not meant to be in. But sadly, it's got inner doors. <laughs> And now I go to a really cheap hydraulic lift, which seems really flimsy and not very good. But to my amazement, it actually has intelligent levelling. And now I go to a nice fitting club. Um, really. Zweites Obergeschoss. And now I go to a nice glass generic lift with intelligent leveling. Mm -hmm. And along we go to a stupid generic. Yeah. Now let me go to a really nice old Fissen lift from the 60s. And now I go to an abandoned shopping centre. This shopping centre was only built a few years ago. It's really modern, but completely abandoned. This is so weird. And into the lift, which is a stupid generic. from the Evans lifter light does not get stuck in kettles. He, yes he does. Oi, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Lift that up the kettle. Oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. And now I go to the next lift, which is a really weird lift. It's got a sideways chassis and lifts pulled from the side and overhangs from the chassis. And the lift is a really weird shape. It's not square. This is such a weird looking lift. And now I go to a next lift, which is a completely awesome, original, old Otis. Yes! So you can see the door. And now to the next lift, which is the awesome original old Otis car park lift. So, uh, here you can see. 
and now go to the next lift which has been modernised by generic Blech. and now go to a current M series that goes all the way up the tower but all of the floors are locked you can only go between basement and ground in this lift despite the fact that it goes up loads of floors that is so weird And now go along to a Z lift at the train station. And now go along to some lifts at a car park. On the outside it's got an up and down button and a button for floors 6 and 7 because only one of the two lifts goes up to these floors. And now go along to a completely awesome 1960s Fissen. Yes! This lift's really epic. Sadly it's got inner doors but it still sounds really good. Can you hear the chain? And let's open it up and go on top of it. And there's no inspection switch. How do you put it onto inspection? This is so odd. The up and down buttons don't appear to work, although the stop button does work. So I can just about do this. It's a bit dodgy, not really that safe, but let's still do this. Down we go to the spooky basement. Let's explore this really creepy basement area. And now to the next lift, which is a generic. And now go along to the hospital. And now go to the next lift, which is also a generic. And now to the next lift, which is an old Schindler, which has sadly been modernised by generic. And now go to the next lift, which is a really awesome Ali Mac heck lift going up the outside of the building. This looks like a temporary lift, but it's actually a permanent installation. And it's completely locked off and we weren't able to get in it. That is so disappointing. And now to the next lift, which is another stupid generic. And now go down to the epic spooky basement tunnel. This tunnel is really long and goes all round the hospital. This is so awesome. Let's go along this tunnel and see what lifts we can find. And now to the next lift, which guess what? Is it a bag of orange juice? It's generic. And now go to the next lift, which is a generic.
And the tunnel goes downwards. Let's see where it goes. And long to the next lift, which is another generic. And let's open up the pit. Someone's walking above us. And now go down some stairs to an even deeper basement. This basement is really deep underground. Let's take a look around this ultra spooky basement. And now go to the next lift, which is an awesome lift without inner doors. Yes, but sadly, one of the staff men when we were in this lift and they spotted that we weren't meant to be there, and I didn't really get a very good video of it. And now go to this weird lift on the outside of this building. I open it up and a really nice glass lift shop. But sadly there's no way of calling it because it's locked off. It's so disappointing. And now go to a generic lift with capacitive buttons. And now go along to an eco disc. There's a really nice big fourth generation eco disc with four to one cabling. This lift's really awesome. So then let's surf it. And this is Chris's first ever lift surf. been modernised into a stupid generic. And now go to the next lift which is a really cheap quality generic lift. It's a ten of one point of No, they are the last pieces of shit. So buy my lifts instead. They are way better. Ah! And now go to a Schindler 3300. And in Germany, I've tried safety braking a lot of lifts, and none of them would safety brake. There must be some weird law in Germany about the inner doors locking, so you can't safety brake any of the lifts. But don't worry, trusty Schindlers always there to break laws. In the UK, they never had a go button to air car top controls, and in Germany, they can't be bothered to lock air inner doors. So let's safety break it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So then it's now time to go back home, so here is the flight back home at night.
triangle lift services setting the standard growing with purpose new lift installations repairs the complete lift service hmm these lifts look familiar hmm we are definitely not copying our own or anything hundred percent